Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be going over the latest version of Pokemon Infinite Fusion for your Android. This is an official guide from the tech support manager, so all the files that are in this guide are authentic. Any files that you get from the unauthentic website or a website claiming to be us is not us. We don't have a website, so please make sure to get files from only this Discord that we have, subreddit, my guides, and that's it. The first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and uninstall Joyplay and RPG Maker. You do that by going into your settings on your phone, then from there scroll down to your apps, and then from there go to Joyplay and click uninstall. You want to do this because the game does not work with the specific versions of Joyplay and RPG Maker from the store. They also have to be a specific version for it to work. If you use a different version of any of these two items, your game is going to be not working correctly and have a lot of bugs in it so it is recommended to you for you to uninstall these two the next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and download the game you want to download either the base game or the game with all of the preloaded sprites i do not recommend you download all of the preloaded sprites because it is over 300,000 sprites people have told me this takes about three to four hours to download extract and just to get all the files in place for this download I do not recommend this at all. The only reason you'd want to do this is if you want to play with all the sprites offline. But even then, you know, wasting three or four hours and then for it to not work if it's not, you know, like your phone might not be compatible with this game. So you don't know yet if, you know, you can even play this game. So I definitely recommend you set it up with this version of the game. Later on, if you want to use the preloaded sprites and everything, you can switch to this one. But first, at least make sure that your game actually is supported on your device because not every phone not every device out there is supported because this game is not made for Android. It's Joyplay that allows this for this to work, but Joyplay is incompatible with every device. So um, I definitely recommend you just click on this one and let's go through, through the installation with this. So let's go ahead and click on this and I'll begin downloading the zip file for it. After that, let's go ahead and download the link for the RPG Maker and Joyplay plugins. I uploaded these two to Google Drive. So go ahead and click download on the top right, then click download anyway and it'll start. Now I did list this extraction tool. You do not need it for the base versions of these files. You'll only need this for preloaded, but I like using extraction tools anyways, rather than the base because they, the extraction tools are just extraction tools and it's a lot more optimized using these tools. So I went ahead and provided RAR, which is from the Google Play Store. So it is a verified app. So I'm gonna be using this for this tutorial. When I click on this, it should take me actually to the base storage of your phone. From here, what you wanna do is you wanna to go to download. And then from here, you'll have your zip files. I have two of these because I downloaded it earlier. So let me go ahead and uh, let me just trash this one just to not get it confused with you guys. So you should just have these two zips. So go ahead and long tap and hit extract to, and it will extract to this folder. Go ahead and do that for these two folders. Go ahead and long tap and extract, and you will get these two folders here. Now, when you do extract this Infinite Fusion file, there was a check-in issue with two files that'll try to replace each other. So you'll get a prompt that says, do you want to replace these files? Make sure to hit replace all, because for some reason there is an issue checking in the code. So just make sure you hit extract all, uh, replace all when you get that prompt. It'll only be two files that it needs to replace anyways. Now that you've extracted this, the next thing you want to do is let's go ahead and install. So go ahead and go to your file manager. Mine's called Amaze, but whatever file manager you have on your device, and it'll take you to storage. So let's go ahead and go to the download folder. And now you should see your folder here, your folder here, and the zip files. You won't need the zip files anymore, so you can delete them now or delete them later. It doesn't matter, but you won't need them. So let's go ahead and go into the plugin folder, go into the plugin folder again, and you'll see the APK for Joyplay and for RPG Maker. Let's go ahead and start with Joyplay first. Go ahead and click on it, click install and click install, and it'll be done in no time. Do the same exact thing for RPG Maker. Click on it, hit install, hit install, and hit done. You will notice it'll say Pokemon League Elite 4 fix. This is for a bug that RPG Maker has where we have to downgrade version to beat the Pokemon League. The guide that I showed you in the beginning that I'm going to link in the description of the video will go through how to fix that when you get to that point. 
but now you should see Joyplay and RPG Maker on your home. So let's go ahead and click on Joyplay and let's go through the very end and accept any of the terms and conditions that they want you to accept. Then from here, go ahead and hit allow, give them permissions to your folder and bam, you're on Joyplay. What you want to do is you want to click on the plus button up here in the top right, hit add a game, hit choose, and then scroll down to your download folder, go to Infinite Fusion, go to Infinite Fusion again, and you'll see game.exe. Do not run any of these two because you need the preloaded folder for preloaded to work. It won't work with this folder, so make sure to click on game.exe and hit choose. You can go ahead and name it whatever you want. I'm going to go ahead and put a period in front of the name. Uh, let me see if this works really quick. Yes, because um, the if you put a period in the front, that means that you don't want this folder to be uh, part of your gallery in your phone. So all the sprites that you get from the game, hopefully by putting that period in there, means that the pictures won't go into your gallery. If it does, I have other solutions for that, but this is something that you can do. And here you can type in any version. I'll just put 6.0.5 because that is the latest version. And let's go ahead and just click next. And you should have the game folder here. Now, if you want to change the gamepad settings or anything like that, from the top right, click settings. And then from there, click on settings again, and you'll have gamepad settings. So if you ever want to change any of the buttons for the game, they will be here. I do in my guide, let me go back to it. I have a section in my guide at the very bottom that'll have all the fixes and all of the common questions with downloading and installing this game. So if you wanted to change the buttons for that, if you scroll down, it'll have a section here on how to change controls and it'll show you what the controls are by default on the game. It'll also have other recommendations on what to do for other errors. So if you are getting any other errors installing the game, please reference the guide because I literally have everything in here and how to fix it. Even a lot of people have this issue where the maps are not working that well. So what you would do for that is you'd go back into Joyplay, long tap on the game, and you'll have this option to optimize maps. That's how you'll fix your map if you have weird map issues. But let's go ahead and open it. You'll get this prompt here, go ahead and hit allow. And you'll get a loading screen and you might get a black screen for a split second, but it just depends on your device. And then you'll see this green screen here and the game should start loading up pretty shortly. Go ahead and press enter on the top left button. It'll let you know about the warning to not download anything from an official site because we don't have one. It'll give you a prompt that new controllers were copied and that's perfectly fine and bam, you're done. One thing you do want to do is if you play the game and you're having an issue typing, go into options and make sure to set this option here for text entry from keyboard to cursor. And that'll actually allow it so that you're able to type in game a lot better than you are normally. So I definitely recommend that option if you're having typing issues. But that's pretty much it, guys. Um, if you have any questions with installation, let me know in the comments below or in Discord and I can help you out. Um, this is a pretty basic installation of the game. As I mentioned, you don't need the sprites because the sprites are downloaded as you play the game. So you don't, need to, you don't even need to download all those sprite packs and everything like that. And you're ready to play the game. I'll talk to you later.